this your favorite lake? <laughs> yeah, and maybe after today I could say. No, I mean it, it's been it's been very tough on me. I caught maybe nine fish today, and you know just got the right bites. I mean it's uh, didn't really see this coming because uh, didn't catch a lot of big fish in practice and tried a bunch of different things and you know you, you try one thing and and that doesn't work and you know it's just the fish aren't doing what they should be doing for this time of year so it's it's been kind of a mentally exhausting but i'm glad i put together i mean you only need five so hopefully i can do it again tomorrow um but yeah i mean i caught a couple good ones late in the day i caught a couple good ones early so it's not like it was a timing thing you know i was worried about that because i caught three you know and, and at about maybe 10 o'clock from 10 to 11 30 i just never could get another bite so i was kind of worried about that and then i was like i just got to get it my limit you know and hopefully uh you know salvage the day but uh thankfully just kept you know sticking to it fishing new water you know the the garmin lakeview hd mapping was really key for me just be able to see the lake in detail and just fish new stuff try new things and you, you have to almost fish the conditions and i felt like i did a good job of that today so tomorrow's gonna be another day I haven't even looked at the weather yet. It should be better. I think today was probably the toughest day, and these guys caught them really good. So it's like you got some work to do because I think tomorrow's going to be even better. So it's even just with all the boat traffic, you know, we had no wind today. We had a little bit of current at the end of the day, so no wind and not a lot of current is usually tough on this place. And the guys caught them like weather wasn't an issue. So um, you know, it's it's going to be. I got my work cut out for me. I mean, it's. I'm ecstatic about this weight. I never thought I could catch a, a bag like that today based off of how my practice was. Um, and then based on how, how the day went, you know, only catching three and then just struggling to get a limit. And then I kind of put it together late. So um, I'll take it. You know, I just feel really blessed to, to be in this spot right now. And tomorrow's another day. Did you make a major change in technique to make it happen late? Or No, I mean, I, you know, I basically caught my fish. Uh, I caught... I, I downsized a little bit. I caught him on a 10-inch rain's bubbling shaker in the morning on a, uh, on a shaky head, like a magnum shaky head. And then I, I, I switched over to a 7-inch bubbling shaker on a drop shot. And that's that, those two baits kind of uh, green pumpkin all-stars. It's kind of like a, it's like a tilapia magic type of color. It's got a lot of fleck in it. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just fishing a worm, just grinding it out and uh, not getting many bites, you know. And, so I think if we get current and stuff, I mean, I'd love to, I love to throw crankbaits and I haven't been able to do much in practice with it. This is a lake you can crank. I hope that they open up that dam and I could throw it. But if I have to finesse fish, I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. But it's just, it's tough when the fish are really scattered to, uh, to crank and stuff. I haven't been able to find schools of them. It's just been one here, one there. And it's, it's a grind, you know, and it's just, it is amazing though how good these guys catch them. I mean, it's, you always look at the weights, but the story, you never see the story out there on how tough it is to catch weight like that. It's just everything has to go together to have a day like I had today. Did you have a spinning rod in your hand most of the day? Uh, at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, in the beginning when I fished that 10-inch shaker, I was fishing it on a, um, a heavy action casting rod and then spinning rod at the end of the day when it got real tough. Uh, trivia, did you catch any fish today? The place I realize different time of year, everything. No, no, no I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Did you look at those spots? When you of course, <laughs> <laughs> of course, but it was different time of year. I mean, yeah. those fish were a lot shallower um, when I caught them. The thing is, I don't have it, it looks like I have history after having a good bag, but I don't. I, I felt kind of clueless uh, after practice this week and just tried a bunch of different things. And I'm still, you know, going to try to keep an open mind because you have to do that. I just felt like I made the right adjustment and fished the conditions today, which I think you have to do that each day. So tomorrow, I think we have a little weather change. I mean, it could potentially help or hurt me. It's it's just you have to fish the conditions. That's, that's what it's all about. I mean, and, and I felt like I did a good job of that today and just stuck with it, stayed in the game mentally and not lost any fish. You lose a good fish like that and you go from having a 22-pound bag to 18 or 15 or whatever. So, And I had a couple fish that just... I mean, I barely got my hands on them and the hook come out. So they were just biting it weird today. What just was your a, big fish? It was just a little bit over five, I want to say. I yeah. mean, I had all kind of, they were around the same size, you know, four to four to five pound fish. Um, maybe my smallest was like three and three quarter. So nothing, nothing real big, but um, just good quality fish. And like I said, those fish were really hard to come by in practice. 
you know, it's just, it's not like it was plentiful for me. I mean, you get one or two here and here and there, but it's like you go hours without even getting a good one or a, or a keeper. So, uh, and I, I, I mean, I, I think I've probably burnt more gas in this practice than maybe any other practice I've ever had. Just try to see more of the lake and, and, and I still don't have a good handle on it. I mean, it, it may look like it on paper, but I, I still feel like I have to keep learning and, and maybe, you know, find some clues and just ro roll with it.